वेलकम गाइस सो टुडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टू इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म इट इज टू बी द इनिशियल वैल्यू थियरम एंड फाइनल वैल्यू थियरम ओके सो दिस टू प्रॉपर्टी इट इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन द फोरिया ट्रांसफॉर्म इट इज अक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दिस लैपलस ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड इज अ ट्रांसफॉर्म सो इन द नेम इट सेल्फ द आंसर इज दैट the first uh, property is that initial value theorem okay so if we want to find the initial value of any signal x of t in terms of laplace transform means we may calculate using this formula okay so what is initial value initial value means the starting value of the particular signal that is at a time t equal to 0 what is the amplitude of the particular signal it is called as a initial value okay so this initial value is calculated using this initial value theorem and final value theorem final value means what is final value at a time t equal to infinity what is the amplitude of that particular signal so we may calculate using the final value theorem okay so let us take one signal uh, e power minus some at signal what is e power minus at signal it is a exponentially decaying signal so the exponentially decaying signal is having the value as 1 at a time t equal to 0 so that 1 is said to be the initial value and the exponentially decaying signal the amplitude decreases decreases and at a time t equal to infinity it reaches the zero value so that is zero is the final value okay for example if you are taking u of t signal what is u of t unit step for unit step signal what is the initial value and the final value it is a one only the initial value the time t equal to zero it, from zero to infinity what is the amplitude of the unit step signal it is constantly one so for that problem the initial value is also one and final value is also one okay so in order to find that initial and final value we are using these theorems okay so let us see the theorem so it's a important two mark question okay uh, according to this initial value theorem if the signal x of t the laplace transform of the signal x of t it can be represented as capital x of s okay this is you know and then the initial value of the signal x of t is calculated as so the initial value how to represent small x of 0 what is this 0 that is x of t value at t equal to 0 okay it is indicated as x of 0 so the x of 0 value is calculated using the formula is that this is the formula for the initial value theorem so x of 0 is calculated as that limit s tends to infinity s into x of s okay so we have to multiply the laplace transform answer into s okay so for that product we have to substitute s equal to infinity means so there may be one answer will come that answer is an initial value of the uh, particular signal x of t okay then final value theorem so what is final value theorem means x if the signal x of t the laplace transform answer is x of s means then the final value of that signal is calculated as so the final value we can written as x of infinity okay so x of infinity means the signal x of t at t equal to infinity so the x of infinity is calculated as that limit s tends to 0 s into x of s so you see these two formula if we want to find initial value means in the product s into x of s we have to put s tends to infinity if we want to find the final value in the product s into x of s we have to substitute s as a zero okay so these two theorems are called as the initial value theorem and final value theorem okay so these are all the uh, specific uh, special theorem is in the laplace transform in order to find out the initial value and the final value using the laplace transform okay so uh, study this so keep watching my channel and uh, thanks for watching thank you